I've got a simple Godot project here where health bar decreases over time from a previous screencast. I've got some code set up where I reference a health label and a health bar throughout. And there's a different way that you can reference these. We can create a variable called health bar and not assign it any value. And then in the ready function, when our scene or our node is ready, we can then say health bar is equal to the dollar sign health bar, so to that node in the scene. And then we can refer to it throughout in a way that is uh, a little more resilient. So we can have our variable name here. And if the name of our health bar node changes, we only have to update it in one place. And you also, you might just other see people do this type of thing too um, in the code. So I just want to explain it quick. So now we've got the health bar and the health label. We'll change these to be the variable name. And let's see what the problem is. Okay, we need to also declare var health label up here so that we have a null variable to put that in. We'll go ahead and run the game again and we'll see that hopefully everything works, it does. Setting this variable here and then also initializing it to a value on ready because these don't exist yet is a little duplicative you can simplify your code to say on ready, so at sign on ready var for, var for variable uh, health bar, and then you can say is equal to our health bar node, and you can just delete this line of code. So now it's quite a bit simpler and cleaner, and we can do the same here, but let's see what happens if we uh, don't do on ready for health label. We already get an error that says the default value for dollar sign to get the node before ready is called do on ready annotation to uh, fix that. So it already knows that we want to do that uh, to make that better. So that's the equivalent. Doing this is the equivalent to the code we just had where you declare the variable as null and then you set it. And then now we can easily reference these nodes here. And if we changed it, you know, if we change this to, for some reason, LBL, <laughs> run it again, it's gonna fail because it's not, uh, it's null. So then all we would do here is we would just rename it. It'd be nice if Godot renamed that in the GD script. Um, that would make the code a little more resilient, but um, generally find that using on ready variables can really uh, help with that. So that's on ready variables explained. Nothing too fancy. You'd use a variable normally without the annotation when you have the value that you can set ahead of time. Like max health is declared here, so we can assign it to health without on ready. But if in, for some reason, if your variable relies upon like a node that's a child that the script is associated with or some other value, like maybe, yeah, another node, you would use on ready var, or you would just set it in the ready callback. That's a little quickie. Hope it helps explain what that is. Thanks for watching.